Okay, I'm sweating my onions down, and when they get pretty tender, I'll add my beef in and brown it. Okay, I've chopped one bell pepper, and I'm going to stir it in and let it soften, and then we'll add the meat, and I'll brown it all off. Be back in a little bit. Okay, y'all, I got my beef all, and I had to run an errand, so here I am back in a different uniform. Uh, I got my onion sauteed down in my bell pepper and I browned off my beef and I'm going to use two cups of it and I decided I would make actual stuffed bell peppers instead of unstuffed. Unstuffed I would cut these up and have a lot of bell peppers in the meat mixture and just serve it by itself. But what I've done, I cut the top off and I took everything out of the inside of the pepper and made me a little bowl. And I'm only going to do two because it's me and Troy, but you would just do however many you need to do. I've got some water on the stove, and I'm going to put these in the water, cover them with water, and bring them to a simmer till they get soft. I want them soft, but I don't want them mushy because I'm going to stuff them with my ingredients here. So I'm going to get them in the pot, get my water heating, and we'll put them in there and let them get tender for me and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna stuff them now I've got two cups of meat and I'm gonna put two cups of rice and I'm gonna mix that around and this is the rice that I cooked with uh, onion soup mix and it's very flavorful yeah, I'll put garlic and onion powder in it, onion soup mix, butter, uh, but you can put, you can use just plain white rice if you want to. And I like a one-to-one -one ratio on the meat and rice. If you would rather have more meat, that's up to you, because this is not an exact recipe on a card. This is, again, a method to make stuffed bell peppers. So I cook my beef and see with onions and bell pepper in it and garlic and uh, my seasonings and then I mix it with cooked well seasoned rice now if you'd rather have more meat I like I like I said I'm going to do it just like this and I'm going to drain some of the juice off of these tomatoes right here and I'm going to uh, put these Rotel tomatoes in there but I'm not sure that I want all the juice I may put it in there we'll see what I decide But my secret ingredient is some tomatoes in it. I like tomatoes in just about anything. I didn't drain them all the way. I'm going to put about a half of them, and I may go back and add the rest of them. Probably will. No doubt. I think I will. Yeah. Now I'm going to stir just, well, just a snitch of cheese in it because I'm going to put cheese on the top and put it in the oven and let the cheese melt and kind of brown on the top. It makes it good. Now I've got a, a whole bell pepper cut up and in here with the uh, meat when I was cooking it. So when my bell peppers over here get soft, I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of this juice to it. I will stuff this meat mixture down into the bell pepper and put the cheese on the top and put it in the oven until the cheese melts. And I just love it. And I can tell you what Troy's going to do. He's going to scoop the meat stuff out and he's not going to eat the bell pepper. I might eat his bell pepper because I like them. He doesn't really care for them. But you know, even when I was a kid and Mama would make these, I loved stuffed bell peppers. A lot of kids just don't like bell pepper, but I did. So let me get the peppers ready, and I will, uh, let me get the camera over to the stove, and I'll show y'all what I'm doing, and then we'll stuff them when they get See, tender. they're just in some water. I'm going to have to do something, because when you baptize something, you put it all the way under the water, and mine's sticking up out of it. So I'll have to roll them around in there a little bit. Uh, but when they get tender, they'll turn a little bit of a different color, and I'll bring them out and pat them off a little bit and 
stuff them. So I'll be back in just a little bit and we'll be stuffing these and then I'll be stuffing me with them. Okay, I got my peppers. They're not mushy, but they're, they're what I wanted them to be and they're hot. So I'm going to um, put some of my meat mixture in there and then I have some secret ingredients that we're going to pop in the middle here. I'm going to add a little bit of coleslaw mix and a little cheese. A little bit of green onions and then I'll layer it a little bit more. This would probably be enough that the two cups of each would probably do at least four peppers, maybe six. What's left we will just eat it along with some pinto beans or something. I'm not gonna uh, do more than two. Okay, I'm going to put me some more cabbage in there. What that's going to do, it's going to get a little bit tender, but it's going to give a little bit of crunch. And I like a little bit of crunch. And then we're going to top them with cheese. Let it heat through and let the cheese melt and it will be yummel de yummel. My daddy would say yummel de scrunchles. Okay, I'll save this because I'll probably put some on the top when I get it done. But uh, let's just go ahead and put a little bit more cheese in there. How's that? Okay, I'm going to put these into a 350 degree oven and let the uh, everything get real good and hot and let the top of it melt and brown a little bit. And I'll bring you back show you what they look like. This is easy. Okay, y'all, my bell pepper is out of the oven. My cheese has melted, and I added a little more green onions on the top. And I just put a little bit of salad, black pepper on it, tomatoes around it. I'm just going to split it open, and that's what I'm going to have is some salad. Because it's, you know what, the whole food group is in there. You've got dairy and meat and vegetables. I think you've got some of all of it. Hey, y'all, now you got another one of my favorite recipes. I love stuffed bell peppers. And I've liked them since I was a little bitty girl. I don't know. There's some things I don't like. There's not very many things I don't like. But I love stuffed bell peppers. So, I hope that y'all will try to make this. You can put whatever in it you want to. You can stuff it with seafood. You can stuff it with whatever. But traditionally, it's usually ground beef and rice seasoned the way you want it to be seasoned. So, put this in your little recipe book and try it. I'm going to get me a knife and cut it open, and um, I'll bring y'all down here and let you look at it. See, I split it in half and opened it up. Oh my goodness, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day long, and it's actually nearly 7 o'clock in the evening here. So, yes, I'm fixing to sit down and eat me some stuffed bell pepper and salad. So because it's about 7 o'clock Texas time, by the time y'all are watching this, it's about supper, well, while I'm making this, it's about supper time at your house, but you better not have anything on watching apron strings. You better be sitting at the table with your family with all that stuff turned off for now and enjoying a recipe you've already watched. I hope y'all are having a good day. Hope you're planning for a wonderful holiday season. And if your money's tight, let me just tell you, Christmas isn't all about spending a bunch of money and having a bunch of presents. Christmas is about family getting together, being thankful for the greatest gift that anybody could have ever had, and that's Jesus and his birth. Just have some goodies cooked and have a good meal. And don't go in debt for a bunch of stuff. Just make it within your means to where you can enjoy it and not worry about it for the rest of the year. You can have a good happy time without spending a fortune. If you got good food, things gonna be happy. So I'm gonna start doing some candies and cookies and stuff and some more uh, recipes like this that y'all can use. So start planning your grocery list like I told you, buy a little bit each week and you will have it all when it's time to cook Thanksgiving and Christmas. Do your part, don't expect your mama to do it all if you're grown. 
or your grandma, you take your part of the food and you do your part of the cleanup. That goes for boys too. Boys can wash dishes. Don't make the don't don't make whoever cooked it do all the cleanup. Thankful y'all are in the kitchen with me. And uh, I'll see you right back here tomorrow. Take care of yourself. The good Lord bless you. And I got something good up my sleeve.